What is up, Toyota fans? This is Andrew from Trail Runner Customs, and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough for the install of this 32-inch curved light bar on my 2006 4Runner. So let's get right into it. So the specific light bar I have here is the AutoSaver 88 curved 32-inch light bar, like I said. This is one of the more affordable options on Amazon, but it did have really great customer reviews, so I'm excited to see how it does. So the place I'm going to be installing this light bar is right here in this lower grill section. This little insert comes out on the 2006 to 2009 Forerunners, but for 03 to 05, you have to cut it out. Thankfully, mine is a 2006, so I should just be able to pop this piece right out and put the light bar in. So we have the hood latch pulled, and as you can see, I'm going to pop this hood. Notice the beautiful TRD Pro grill. So now what we need to do to get to the frame rail where we're going to mount the light bar is first take off the bumper. So I'm going to do that now. So as you can see, I am taking out these screws that hold the bottom of the bumper in first. Yeah, so we got the screws out of the underside of the bumper and now to move on to the wheel wells. For this next wheel well screw, we're going to be going up in this hole right here to find it. I have the socket extension on just like that. Now we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and go ahead and remove these three clips that hold the bumper in. So now I have these three clips and I can take off the bumper. Highlight. So the key was that that side was too far forward and so once I pushed it back a little bit, I was able to get the other side off. Just so looking at the bumper we've taken off. Here is what was holding it on. We have one, two 10 millimeter screws that I will be taking out now. Okay, so I have these two screws out and now I'm going to try and remove the insert, whatever you call this. I know this is kind of difficult to see, but we're gonna give it a rest shot. There it is. All right guys, so I have put the bumper back on. This is just to kind of see where the light bar fits on it. But I'm gonna do some tests and I will keep you updated and I'll let you know. Okay, so I've taken a look at everything and I have come up with a game plan. And that game plan is I'm going to go to Lowe's. First, I'm gonna re dip this rear, not rear, bottom little piece right here because it's peeling. Then I'm going to somehow coat that frame rail so it doesn't look as crappy and then i'm going to make l brackets and then mount the light bar on those so i will keep you posted on my journey so we are back from lowe's here's what i got i got some rust-oleum spray paint for the rail of the frame that i need to paint black i got some l brackets obvious reasons i got some plastic dip to dip my lower bumper and then I got some hardware, some screws, some bolts, some nuts, all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Now it's time to take the bumper back off. I'm now gonna sand the rust off of here and take my flat black rust oleum and coat this frame rail. Okay, so I just sanded and cleaned my frame rail and then I put on the first coat of paint. Looks pretty good. So we just got the second coat on for the frame rail rust protection paint. It's going right there, that's drying. Oh, what do we have here? We have me re dipping the lower part of the grill. So that's drying also. And um, while that's drying, I'm gonna work on my mounts for the light bar itself. So I also coated the metal L brackets 
I went ahead and got four just in case, and these are already pre-drilled. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put the holes yet, but I didn't really wanna fool with bending out the metal. So I just got four pre-drilled L's and I'm probably gonna just drill my own holes. I have completed painting the lower bumper. I did about six coats, which sounds like a lot, but for plastic dip, that's not that much. Anyways, moving to my car, I backed it in and I'm just waiting for this frame rail to dry before I can mount the light bar. So here we are after day one. Now, not much has changed since I last showed you. The only thing I've done I've drawn out where the brackets will sit on the frame. I painted the brackets. And the main reason I'm stopping today is because one, I'm tired of working on this right now. Two, that needs to dry, that needs to dry, and then we'll be good to go. All right, so we're back on the Forerunner for day two. It's a beautiful day and we're hoping to get it finished up today. So what I've done now is I have kind of just laid it in place nothing is screwed down but i just wanted to see what it would look like exactly as you can see i have the carpenter pencils propping it up but i just kind of wanted to get a look and a feel for what it would be like once it was in place so here it is i think it looks pretty good okay so i'm going to take off this piece of frame because when i'm trying to drill into the bumper or i mean the frame rail i cannot get any leverage because of where i want to drill back here so i'm gonna have to take this off we are officially extremely far in. This is, I'm having to take this frame part out over here just to be able to drill down in on that, which means unscrewing the headlight, which means unscrewing this bar, which means a lot of disassembly, which is what I did not want, but here we are, so. I just broke a drill bit trying to get in this. Well, I took a lunch break for like 45 minutes, but I built these brackets as you can see and i'm just really hoping that they line up perfectly because they look good it took forever to drill through here like forever i broke a drill bit it was terrible but hopefully this works so i'll keep you updated well that took an extremely long time all I have to do is wire it up and re-secure the bumper. I haven't done that yet, but this is the mount. And you know what? I'm glad I took the time to get it exactly how I wanted it because I really like how it looks. Cool. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here with just the installation process. I'm going to do the wiring process in a separate video. But overall, I really like how the light bar looks. I think that it adds a nice little twist to my car and overall it changes the front look. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while so I'm really excited that I went ahead and did it. It was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, a little bit more steps, but overall I am glad I did it and I can't wait to wire it up. Are you finally ready to make your Toyota stand out with a new TRD Pro grill? Elevating the style of your vehicle does not have to be difficult. Check out the link in our description today.